Hey, 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today. If you're here for the very first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today I have some laundry room decor DIYs and they are all on a budget. If you're interested in seeing what I have created, then keep on watching. All right, for our first project, I have three boards from Dollar General. I got these boards for five cents, okay? They were on clearance from the Valentine's Decor and Crafts, and these boards were a steal. So I paid 15 cents in total. So this is going to be a super duper cheap project that still would have been cheap if I'd have paid the regular price because it would have been $3 for all the boards. And I'm just taking some craft sticks from Hobby Lobby, and this is going to be the back side of the board. I'm not covering this up today. Normally, if you're new here, I like to cover up the back of my projects, but because this one is mine and I'm keeping this and if someone asks for it, I'll just have to make them one, but I'm not giving this one up. Okay. So this is mine and um, I have two other projects today and they are planters just to go ahead and give you a heads up because I want to add some green in there. Now I will be styling these in my laundry room. And I will be showing you how I style them. So stay tuned for that. We are going to um, do it together. I already have some things up in there, but I'm going to take everything down and um, redo it because I actually have something else that I want to put in there as well. And we're going to do that together here on camera. So stay tuned for some laundry room um, style, okay? So we're just going to put a generous amount of these. You all probably would have not used this many, but I don't want this to come apart on me. Okay. I just want to put this up and it's up. All right. So you can either use it the long way or this way. And this is the way that I'm going to use it. And I did paint it white with some satin white by um, Krylon that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be working with these two wall decals by Main Street. I get these from Dollar Tree as well as Dollar General. So we're just going to, you know, place it down where we want them. We'll figure out how we want to put them on here and just keep on watching. All right, I love how this turned out. And so what I'm going to do now is create us a hanger to go on the back and I want it down low. I don't want to be able to see the hanger. And I'm just going to add some paint sticks, some of these craft sticks on top of the hanger just to give it that extra security. And then that will be it for this DIY. Now we are about to go ahead and show you a cute little planter this is a canned good. I painted it white using some apple barrel. I'm just using some greenery picks from the Dollar Tree that I had on hand um, from last year. I thought these were so, so cute. And um, I'm just going to 
place them down but I want to give this can some legs you know I like it down you know flat but I want to give it some legs and these are the little sticks that come off of the sponge brushes from Dollar Tree when I have I'm done with the sponge I always save the sticks because they could be used for so many different things and I'm just going to add four here now you'll see me kind of adjust them and move them around a little bit all uh, because I want to make sure that it's not rocking and it's not leaning and it's just doing what it's supposed to do and try to get them spaced out evenly as possible so keep on watching Now you can make this planter as full as you like, but that is it. I'm only using one stem. Now I'm taking this little basket here from Dollar General. It was given to me. And um, I'm taking some foam here and we are just going to glue this down into the bottom of the basket because we're creating another um, planter. Now I want this one to be messy because this one is going to be up high and the other one is going to be probably down low so i'm just taking this uh greenery here plastic greenery i think that's what it said and we're just going to trim them all down to size because i don't want them to be this long so i'm going to cut them down probably in two to three pieces from one full length so you get three pieces on each one so i'm just going to trim them down and I want this to be a messy style of planter, so keep on watching. Okay, so now I'm taking some reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree and just kind of spacing it out to cover up some of the white of the foam. And I'm not going to use a whole, whole lot because again, this is going to be styled up kind of high on the shelf. But I still want to um, make sure I can get some of that white covered. So I'm using all the reindeer moss that I have left to do that. But I'm also going to be using some of the little greenery from the wildflower picks that y'all know I love here over the book goodies mm -hmm. just to kind of fill this front area up a bit to cover up some more of that foam because this is going to be the front side the back side will be to the wall no one will see it it will be up high so I'm not trying to fill the back up just the very very front to give it a little bit <clears throat> more um and not be so skimpy toward the front area yes uh-huh i'm loving it so if you like anything here thumbs the video up that will help me out and i greatly appreciate it so thank you in advance because i know y'all gonna like this okay just to help me out <laughs> if you like it though and leave me a comment tell me what it is that you like and if this is your type of content, consider joining this family over here by subscribing. And don't you forget to hit the bell as well. I'm going to give you all the final reveal of these two projects for my laundry room. So keep on watching.
all right y'all that is it i had so much fun creating all of these i think they turned out so simple but yet beautiful if you know me around here i love green okay hold this but goodies y'all know i love to warm up any space with greenery and this messy planter here is going to set it off on my shelf as well as the little small one the laundry room sign sort tomorrow wash later dry soon fold maybe iron get real thank you all so very much i'm gonna catch y'all in my next one bye bye